Hey everybody, it's Sean. At the uh, beginning of this video tutorial series on creating a short document, I showed you guys how we could quickly add things into our CC libraries. Um, I'm just going to take a few minutes to go back to this and sort of show you guys some of the things that CC libraries can do and why they're super important to your workflow and just sort of help to keep every um, important asset in one place uh, accessible across any of your devices. So if we open up our CC libraries panel to get there, you can go to window CC libraries. Um, you should have just a handful of color palettes here. And uh, if you're like me, um, I just started throwing things into your library. Um, I want to rename this library to something better than your library. So if we click on the hamburger menu right here, you can see rename your library. And I'm going to rename this to Harriet meets if my keyboard was working come on okay there we go cool so let's hit rename and now we have a library called Harriet meets it has our colors in it um, but not much else so I'd like to sort of show you guys what else you can throw in here that will make life pretty easy um, the first thing I'm going to do is drag this off of the panel so that it's a floating window and I'm going to go into paragraph styles. I'm going to create a new folder, um, view by, view by group, um, create, create a group. I'm going to call these, um, colors and I'm going to just start dragging our colors in here just to keep things organized. There we go. Okay. Lovely. So the next thing I'm going to do is create another group and I'm going to call these um, styles. Lovely. And what you can actually do is you can drag in your paragraph styles. Um, I lied, you cannot drag them in. Uh, you can um, use this little button down here to add to your library. Uh, I keep on forgetting that. Um, <clears throat> so we're going to take subtitle, call out. Uh, we're just going to add all of these guys in here. For now um, and we can close our color tab and we can start dragging these guys into our styles group just like so there we go and there we go cool um, so now we have two group thing uh, two groups styles and colors um, I'm trying to think we uh, we seem to use this image of this barbecue chef guy a fair amount. Um, he might be a fairly staple element in our um, design. So what we can do is we can actually come up to the links panel and go to window links if it's not open for you. And we can click on the barbecue chef JPEG and we can hit um, this, uh, sorry, relink from CC libraries. I think that that should send it. It did not send it, so don't mind me. Um, I wonder if we can actually just click and drag this guy in here then for once. Sorry, it seems like every asset for um, for uh, libraries seems to be um, added in a different way. Um, I'm used to clicking and dragging things in here, but it seems to be going a little bit finicky. Um, so yeah, you can just click and drag this artwork into CC libraries and it'll take a second but it will populate and we can rename this to barbecue uh, chef and we could create another group and call this imagery and drag him on in there just so everything stays nice and organized cool but one of the most important things I think for us to be able to actually keep in a CC library are elements such as logos um, so in Illustrator, I actually have the uh, Harriet Meets logo um, available. I'll make sure that this is sitting in your project files as well. Uh, I'm just going to use Command Y so we can actually see it's there. And I'm going to take uh, my selection tool, I'm going to select it, and in Illustrator, um, obviously, we are in a completely different uh, set of menus. So I'm going to go up to Window and I'm going to open up Libraries. See, it's right up here. It takes a second to load because it's trying to connect with all of your information. Uh, I'm going to go to my Harriet Meets Library and I am going to click and drag and add in this artwork. There we go. 
and I'm going to double click it. I'm going to call this Harriet meets logo vert for vertical. And if we switch back over to our uh, group view, paragraph styles, graphics, um, view instead of view by type, view by group. So we can create a another group and we can call this logos. And we can grab this guy and drag him in. There we go. And so now we have all of these lovely grouped sort of settings um, for all of our uh, main assets for Harriet Meets. Now I'm going to jump back into InDesign. I'm going to create a new document. I'm just going to use whatever um, preset I grab first. Probably just going to be 8.5 by 11 print. There we go. Going to hit create. And now the great thing about this is um, I can just create a chunk of text. So I'm going to drag out a text box, hit right click, and I'm going to hit fill with placeholder text. And I'm going to use our CC libraries. I'm going to have paragraph styles open. And what you can see is there's only one paragraph style, the basic paragraph, right? But if I open up styles and I want to apply body copy, all of a sudden, my body copy um, paragraph style and all of its attributes are being applied in this new document and it will automatically create a new paragraph style called body copy. Um, this is extremely useful if you're looking at uh, working with a brand over multiple projects, um, multiple different, uh, <clears throat> sorry, multiple different um, sort of touch points, but you need everything to remain the same. Um, the actual thing that I'm going to go back to in our Harriet Meets file is the character style for the first line. I am going to uh, make sure that I'm, tr well, I'm going to see if I can send it directly to the styles uh, group. So we'll see what happens. It did not want to go there, but I just clicked on first line, add to CC libraries, and I can drag it into my styles group. Now I can come back over into my untitled document and there's my character style. So I can apply it. I can go look at character styles and boom, there is a first line character style now in our new document and life is good. Uh, if I wanted to, um, I could also go in and create a, I'm just going to use a black rectangle, black, whoops, I didn't mean to do it like that. Rectangle, black, and I'm just going to draw out a little rectangle here, and I'm going to drag in my logo, being careful not to place it on top of the rectangle, and draw it out. Cool. Now I have my logo. It is linked to my CC libraries, and I'm pretty sure if I go under links, you'll see here it is in the cloud. Um, so as long as you have access to an internet connection, uh, any link that you have stored in the cloud should work perfectly fine. Um, it should never really break. And then obviously if you use the technique of packaging your document at the end of a uh, project, it will pull everything that you've linked from the cloud. It will create actual um, links to it in a proper folder and be accessible to anybody who might not have access to your CC libraries. Um, now, I just want to sort of showcase, I use this a lot. Uh, I obviously, I've used it to create documents for this course. I have my own library for my own needs. Um, some stuff that I've done for work and other clients uh, can all sort of be found within my, um, within my library. Uh, it's a really useful tool. I would highly suggest um, I would highly suggest making use of it because, you know, honestly, there's nothing worse than having to sort through tons of different software and tons of different folders on your computer when you can have everything just readily accessible here at one point. And, you know, just to re-stress how important it is naming things um, properly, if we had left these color panels or color swatches, sorry, as just their um, color value as their name, this gets very confusing, you know? But just being able to know, oh, this is Harriet Meet Red, or this is Harriet Meet Blue, things like that, um, it just lets you at a glance know exactly how you're working on your projects and uh, in what capacity they should be um, getting built in uh, without really having to worry about um, nitty-gritty details once you get everything nicely set up the way you want it to. 
So that's my spiel on CC Libraries. I hope it was useful, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.